Premiere Pro with this latest update is saving me about $300 a year. They've acquired Film Impact, which I've been using for the last four years. Trust me, it's been worth it because some of these effects have saved me so much time. And let me show you some of my favorites. Motion Tween. If you want to animate a zoom in, zoom out type of thing, just chop the clip where you want it to zoom in or zoom out, stick the transition there, resize the second clip, and you're done. No keyframes needed. The grow effect and the shrink effect do opposite things, but you stick that on your clip and you can get a slow zoom in, you can have a fast zoom in, you can adjust the S curve. I usually go for about 2% just so you get that slight engaging zoom in or zoom out. It's clutch. The glow effect really is to add some interest to your footage, just to add a bit of bloom, adjust that to your preference. Enough said. The clone effect, I use this on logos all the time and you can animate all the different parameters. Something which in After Effects would take you a bit more time and effort. The vignette effect is more than just a vignette. It's got the chromatic aberration, which I love. It's got a few more parameters that you can adjust and I use it a lot. The rounded corner effect, again, super easy, drag and drop, adjust, and you're pretty much there. Just adding a bit of class to your footage. The pop effect transition, I use this on subtitles, logos all the time, just to add a bit of animation that's easy to do, that normally would take you a few keyframes, but now it's just drag and drop. And if you're ever stuck, don't forget to use the surprise me button, because you never know what you come across.